this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform license borrowing with the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite 19.0. To provide for mobile licensing, ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite 19.0 supports the FlexLM license borrowing capability. With license borrowing, end users can use ANSYS Electromagnetic's products for a specified time period on computers that do not have a continuous connection to the license server. To confirm the license has borrow capabilities, Look at the license increments for borrow equals 720. If you do not see this, then contact your account team to request borrowable features. A graphics utility has been provided to simplify the task of borrowing licensing. This utility is named AntsBorrow.exe. Start menu shortcuts have not been provided to access the AntsBorrow utility. You will be required to browse to the product installation folder to run the program. In this example, my installation folder is the default. See colon backslash program files, backslash ANSYS EM, backslash ANSYS EM 19.0, backslash win64. To borrow a license, the client computer must be connected to the network and have the ability to use licensing as normal. Run the ANS borrow utility. The ANS borrow utility requires a return date and time to be specified. In this example, I specify January 8, 2018 at 5 p.m. as a return date. At that date and time, the borrowed license increments will no longer be available on my client, and the license server will make them available in its inventory. Select the desired features to run the analysis in ANSYS Electromagnetics Desktop 19.0. I will borrow features to run an HFSS simulation. Hold down the Control key and select HFSS Desktop, HFSS GUI, HFSS Solve, and HFSS HPC underscore pack. Select the borrow button to check out the requested features. A notice is provided to indicate the license features have been borrowed. Select OK to close the notice. At this point you can close the ANS borrow utility. Disconnect your computer from the network and use your application with the borrowed licensing. If you wish to return license features prior to your specified return date and time, the client computer must be connected to the network and have the ability to use licensing as normal. Run the ANS Borrow Utility. Select the Return tab in the ANS Borrow Utility. Select Return All button. A notice is provided to indicate the license features have been returned. Select OK to close the notice. Close the ANS Borrow Utility. The following are some limitations regarding license borrowing. Borrowing is supported on Windows clients only. However, the license server may be running under Linux. Node lock license features are not borrowable. Any node lock products would need to be converted to floating. The maximum borrow period is 30 days. Borrowing over a VPN connection is not recommended. Early returns are not possible with the legacy Ansoft 10.8.5.2 license manager. Please upgrade to the current Ansys license manager. This concludes the demonstration of license borrowing with Ansys Electromagnetic Suite 19.0. Thank you.